Again, in a question like this, if it came up on a test, a quiz, or an exam, you would get the formula. The formula is given on the question beside, so they're assuming you can look over there and see it, but we'll write it down. 101.3 times 0.88 to the k. So in this case, P stands for pressure in kilopascals, and K stands for the altitude in kilometers. So here we have the cabin pressure in an airplane is less than 70. Passengers can suffer altitude sickness. To the nearest kilometer, at what altitude is the atmospheric pressure? 70. So what do we know in this case? We know the pressure, so we can put 70 in. And we want to solve for K. Again, at this point in the unit, they're saying you don't know how to solve for exponents unless you can get the bases the same. So is 70 a power of 0.88? Ugh. Do you know your power is a 0.88? Probably not. Maybe you know to the power 0 and power 1, and then you say, I'm good. OK? So again, what we're going to do is we're going to put this into y1, this into y2, and we're going to solve for k. My calculator was not working yesterday. It appears to not be working today. So I'll let you do that. And your job is to see if you can get three kilometers as approximation. Were you, was everybody able to get that three kilometers with their graphing calculator? Yep. Excellent. Uh, just one question for homework number 14.